Good evening and welcome to part B of tonight from day one. The auditor stops hits, Karen's, and all everyone else is ready, rock, and loaded. Uh, loaded, sorry. To go. And we start uh, tonight with Tweaker getting trespassed from post office. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on, guys? Auditing America. We're at the United States Post Office with Mr. Universal from Universal TV and Fake Micro News. Let's see if they respect the First Amendment. I, I don't understand why you guys are even doing this. Well, well, if you look at the rules, why are you backing up? If you look at the rules, it clearly states it's very obvious why she's backing up. That's the reaction every single woman has when they encounter you. Yeah, it's creepy. That we can film here, and all I hear is shouting about being on video. You guys, uh, you guys <laughs> have already provided. <laughs> correct. Issued a mandate for all postal property. Do you know what a mandate is? Yeah, it's, it's called put your fucking request. mask on. It's not a law. No, it, I have it. It's that you have you have to wear them. So can you show me the law? You can go to 1410 Northwest Gate and you can talk to the postmaster. Yourself. I'm talking to you. Show me the law. I thought you were the postmaster. I'm not. You no, she never said you was the postmaster. You see the postmaster. Oh, uh, Trump to come here. Um, I don't think he's going to do that. I don't understand why you guys are even trying to cause a problem. We're trying. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. You, because you guys, they definitely you are, are, Your Honor. Honor. Freaking out. Over a video? Come on, Asamo. Your main mission in life is always to cause a problem. Because when you cause a problem, you get a better reaction for YouTube. Correct. Here today, that came in here, and you came in purposely uh, to start mess. That's what you came in We were nothing but... Oh, my God, that's my spirit animal there. She's saying exactly what I think. That's my spirit animal. Nice you to you. You came in here with your phones out ready. That's because that's we were working on a video. Duh. Because you're working on a video. Yes. And you can work on a video. Put your mask on. It's as simple as that. You're, you're not. Your you mask is not even mask. being properly worn, and you're you telling know, us. It don't matter. Yes, it does. Your mask is. On. Your mask is. Your you mask is put under... one on and then complain. You're Why are you screaming? Wow. I mean, yes, I am. Why? Yeah, you're gonna get in trouble. Because I want you to leave and you're... follow the rules like everybody else. Ma'am, you're supposed you're... to be courteous and professional. I'm not gonna be courteous. But ma'am, these are frauditors. They are above the law. They are above the rules. The people that's not being courteous to me. I've been on my You tell them, dear. To you? Sir, you're not leaving when I'm asking you to leave. You're acting like a Karen, ma'am. Okay, whatever. Am I a Karen? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not a Karen. I'm black. I ain't no damn Karen. Well, you're... Are you acting like a Karen? Oh! Okay, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. You're a you think you're a Karen. Karen. Karen's a white chicken. Like comedy. It's, it's a sense, it's an overly uh, sensitive person that gets no, no, no. that goes the extra mile for no reason. Hmm. An overly sensitive person that goes the extra mile for no reason. You took the word right out of my mouth. If you're gonna say that to every auditor. It sounds like you're perfectly describing all frauditors. Yeah. Thanks for summarizing it for us. <laughs> you took it out of my mouth. Yes, it is. You're calling the police on a, on, on a lawful activity. No, she told you to get your fucking mask on. How in the hell is mask anything lawful or unlawful activity by the Constitution? I guarantee you George Washington and I did not have to worry about a pandemic. And yes, yeah, since we're matching that, please make sure you follow the CDC, WHO, NHS, or whatever health organization is in your local area as to what should or shouldn't be done in your current location regarding said pandemic or panini or whatever other terminology you wish to give to it. <laughs> You're be on my thumb she definitely has something against white people. I'm not, I'm black. I'm black. <laughs> what was that? Uh, no she has something against white people. It's called a Karen. And oh. It's not appreciated. So why? Like are, are there any black people that are named Karen? Yes, there's black. I have no idea. Of course, there's black. <laughs> uh, of course. I'm not saying that there aren't any African American or dark skinned individuals who have the name Karen or not. I will say personally, from personal experience, I haven't met any. There's black females whose name is Karen. 
her raising her voice to the public is uh, very unprofessional. How are you all? You ever heard the term gone po postal? You ever, you ever heard that gone postal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So going postal refers to committing homicides on the workplace, which has nothing to do with. And these fuckers are making that kind of a the reference to fuck off. Handling a bunch of Karen frauditors to the best of their capabilities. What do you think about the service here today, Miss Universal? Oh God. I never seen somebody going postal the way that she just did. I didn't even think that Karen worked in the post office. And yet you're talking about working when you, I don't think you guys have worked a fucking second in your entire life. But this is why Mr. America does what he does. Not because he wants to irritate people, provoke people. Actually, that's exactly why he does what he does. It's to irritate people and to provoke people. Correct. We were on our way anyway, but they really messed up here. <laughs> now she says that we're okay to be here? You look very young to be a police officer. How old are you, sir? I'll let you guess. You're about 21? I'll let you see if you're 24. You're 24? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, well, we're working on a video about the post office, right? And we looked at the rules from the post office. We're right there on the wall. Uh, and it says that we are legally and lawfully allowed to video record in this uh, federal property. And also, there's an official official sign that says masks are recommended. You see, the same way you guys are not wearing a mask, we're not wearing one. She went postal on us and shut down the entire uh, business over a first amendment, over the First Amendment and over our freedoms. Maybe if you explain to her that we have the right to be here, she she will understand a little bit better. Well, she was just straight up yelling and being disorderly. And also turned this into a racial thing, by the way. <laughs> Dude, are you okay, Anselmo? It looks like you just blew a fuse right there. I think you blew many fuses. Is this, you're going to harass the cops? It's at the door. We have the door, and it's mandatory by a postmaster's mandatory in all federal buildings. And that's period. And the same thing I explained to them. That that rule doesn't change regardless of your race. Or Why is you're the ones you screaming that you're black, hold, this hold and that? Hey, hold on. And we okay. asked him, he came in here, they came in here looking for trouble. We've been nothing they, but nice. When they came in the door, they had their cameras out filming right. Yep. <laughs> That's the First Amendment. Well, I haven't given you permission to film me. Could you explain and to her? What are you doing? Hey, hold, hold on a second. And I'm telling you, I said, sir, I said, well, whatever y'all doing, you gotta have your hands on here. Well, we got this. Not fun. We got this. That. Okay, but well, do you have that on you? Well, you don't have the right to ask. I said, well, you don't I'm have the right to ask. That's our law. Our law is that all people. And they said they've been doing what you did, and they've been all over our face. We want them. To sir, please. Please, they're investigating something. Pay attention. Pay attention. Good, shut up. There's nothing unsafe here. <laughs> Actually, you're the one screaming. Yeah, you did. Cheryl did. If you do not want him in here because of their mask situation, the that's mask, fine. That's if you fine. ask him to leave, yes. then they can leave. Yes, but, but they you, won't. Okay. We can refuse. That's that's where we come in. Okay. okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, okay, for harassment, they have the right to record. It's like they have the right to record us right now, okay? Also, they're not wearing a mask. Why are you harassing everyone? Right. You're not, she's not even wearing the mask properly. Okay. She's, she's, she's not the mask. Oh, oh, well, that sounds like a personal problem. Wow, Asamo is so rude. He's <sighs> always so rude, especially towards women. I guess he has the hate of women because that's what got him in jail when he got arrested for domestic battery. Oh yeah, that was that asshole. I mean, why is she harassing the police as well? <laughs> awesome, because we've been nothing but nice. We've been nothing but nice. I know she's harassing the cops. You guys need. Now I was completely shocked when I saw Whisk Boy was actually there because he didn't say a single word. He looks like he's tweaked. Video. 
So obviously what happened is that he was sold a different batch that probably had some different substances in it because he looks tweaked out big time. Thank you for confirming. To wear a mask too. <laughs> No, actually, the, he was all about us. It's on video. You guys are harassing everyone that comes in. You're even bothering the cops about a mask. That's because we have the First Amendment. We're not cursing. That's because it's loud. required. Actually, I'm going to start recording. Okay. But but she did. She did. Well, I mean, oh, look at the cop put a mask on. But, but we'd like to press charges on her for disorderly conduct because she's been disorderly. She shut down the whole business. This is federal property. She doesn't have the authority to 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 tell us to leave unless we're breaking the law. You you're see, breaking you the law by the mask. mask. You're at work. But us, we're free citizens. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? I'm not saying that you guys don't have that kind of right. But when they ask they you don't. to leave, this is a business technically, okay? So they have that authority to ask you guys to leave. But it's property. not a private business. That's the thing. Only a private business can do that. It, no, no, that's not how it works. Yeah, unless I'm breaking the law. This is a public place. Okay, here's the thing. Wow, it looks like Wizboy finally snapped out of it. Anyways, let's fast forward to when they get kicked out. She also she also turned this into a racial thing. Started saying, "I'm black. I'm don't call me a Karen. This and that. We're not here to we're not here to create a problem, bro. Yes, we're you just are. Here to document our visit. No, you're not. Unfortunately, this lady uh went postal. You heard that that term before? She she, she she's gone postal, and and she and and she's gonna be seen by thousands on the internet. You see, we have a hundred million views on the internet, ma'am. Hundred so, million? What happened to two hundred million that used to claim? We don't want you guys back any longer because we we want you. Okay. Cool. You can talk to him up front if you'd like. All right, let's all right, let's go. So we can accomplish both goals. Good. How are you? Shake hands, no? Sure. I'm Enrique. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice. Mike, pleasure to meet you, Mike. Mike. Uh, Mr. Universal. And Mr. now it's time. And now it's time to have the smack <laughs> okay, play so down on you. I made some phone calls. Uh, you know, I'm here assisting the other supervisor uh, with some of your questions. I'm guessing. So what can I help you with? Look at all the police resources they're wasting just because they want to make a YouTube video. Yes, they do. This is really disgusting. So we just wanted to. We were refused entry, and they shut the place down because of the mask. Okay. Now here it says masks are required. On right. the other side, it says recommended and required on two separate sides. Okay. Um, so our main point was uh, that you're an idiot to maybe get us out of here. But I, my my counter to that would be as long as we're not engaged in any illegal activity, we should have every right to be in a public building. E, but you are. So I made some phone just so I just a good opportunity to clarify what's go what's going on here. Then I made some phone calls. Uh, we have an FBI office just a few blocks uh, down. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Or maybe even one block down. I uh, called over there and talked to uh, one of our associates that works with the FBI directly, and they kind of cleared it up for us. It, this is a federal building, and all federal buildings are mandating a mask policy for all visitors and employees. You wow, this info is straight from the FBI. You're not allowed to be in there without a mask. Just put one on. It's not the end of the world. It's not going to It is for these cloud chasers. Can't go in any federal building and not have a mask on. That's their policy. Sure. Uh, it's an it's something that they can enforce, even though it's a federal building and open to the public. Well, not all of them are open to the public, but even though like this is open to the public, um, they can ask that if you would like to do business here, that you wear a mask and be in compliance with the policy. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. They ha they have the right to refuse your service. Sure. So um, first, uh, I I get that. Um, but if it's a federal building, um, it's really our building, right? And secondly, if if uh, if they're saying they can <sighs> use a service, what what about uh, medical exemptions? And you said, as you said, it's a policy, not the law. So you guys are law enforcement; you shouldn't be enforcing policy. So now he's still recovering from what absolutely destroyed his mind 15 minutes ago. So you see, he's stumbling over the place. He's like policy, not law. He's saying uh, just as much as Aselmo. It's really sad, bro. You should stop doing drugs. Especially if it's unconstitutional. So we're not enforcing any policies, and I, and I hope that's very clear. 
We're enforcing the trespass order, okay? The trespassing is very simply put. If you're asked to leave the building and you refuse to leave, now you are breaking the law. You're breaking trespass. And, and who is, so could anybody trespass? So like if I just told that dude you have to leave when I was in there, would you also trespass him? Well, I would say you don't have authority over the building. Even though you're going to tell me that taxpayers, we own the buildings and stuff, you haven't been appointed any... Oh, it sounds like he knows your bullshit. You have the authority, the postmaster. Wow, this police officer is really smart. He knew exactly what Wish Boy was going to do. What his bullshit was going to do? do. Yes. Time. The postmaster. Yeah. And, and the federal government. I mean, you guys are going to try to put me in a position of answer questions I can't give you. No, oh, I mean, I, I think you're alluding to what I was going to say. The postmaster general he works for us. We pay a salary, and it literally says on poster seven there, which is his own, the rules and regulations of the post office. It says that we have the right to film. And it also says in uh, the second to last paragraph, nothing in this document is, should be used to abrogate any state or federal law. So it says it right there in their own documentation that we have the right to, to do that. Yeah, you, have, you absolutely have the right to film. There's no question there. We're not even talking about that. So, so hypothetically. So the people that have been appointed in charge, and you've already brought up the Postmaster General and all the employees, right? There has been... Uh, a directive that anybody visiting the building, anybody entering the building, shall comply with the directive of wearing a mask. Okay? If you don't want to do that, then you don't have to come into the building. Great. Now, one more hypothetical for you. If oh. someone is neurodiverse, has autism, or medical exemption, or just doesn't want to follow a policy that's not law, how would they go about getting service in here? Which, like, if there was a kid that was neurodiverse and had autism right now, would you would you drag them out if they didn't have a mask on? Well, let's be clear. I haven't dragged anybody out of it. No, no, I'm just asking a hypothetical. Um, You're you know, just being stupid. Hypotheticals. I would just rather stick to what we're dealing with right here. You know, surely there's some workarounds of people who have Yes, there is. Don't call me Shirley. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I appreciate you keeping the conversation alive because I'm not upset. Huh? Gotta give it to West Boy. That was kind of funny. But... They should just move on with their day. Like, obviously, they got... They don't know how to move on with their day. We're all getting tired. And these cops must be getting very tired of explaining the same thing over and over to these idiots. I'm not either. No, I mean... No, we're not upset. We, these, we, guys, these guys have been very polite yeah, and nice. And, 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 they, and, they didn't try to, and they didn't try to step on our rights either, which, yeah. is, which is cool. Yeah, you should speak we're with Gonzalez. Either. You know Gonzalez? Officer Gonzalez? Uh... Maybe you need to have a word with him. Everyone else, everyone else has been very uh, professional and courteous to to us from the what is it, Topeka? Yeah. Topeka Police Department. Everyone's been yeah. very courteous and professional. But uh, Gonzalez, there's a video about him that may oh. catch your eye. Sorry, it's hard to understand you, Asamo, with that dying whale noise you do all the time. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. All right, they thank you very much. Uh, Dave, are you ready? Ah, uh, one of my good friends, Dr. Dave, the beer drinker. What do you got for us today? We find SGV News in his band of misfit dregs of society as they harass good working people once again for clicks and views on their pitiful YouTube channels. Now, this video was only 12 minutes long, and the amount of performance Vanity in here probably covered about half that. Oh, I had a difficult time editing it all out, and you might catch a word here or there that I missed, but you know what to do with this video. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. Alrighty, so claims assault on potato cam. Oh, geez. Warning, you know. Warning. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you. What the fuck are you doing? This is the moron behind the camera. Thank you. SGV News, also known as Jose. 
Hey, Jose, how you doing today, okay? Yeah, he can't do anything else in life because he's a convicted criminal, former gangbanger, or maybe a current gangbanger, I don't know. But at any rate, yeah, he can't find a real job because of his criminal record. And look at him. He's too stupid to know up from down, left from right, in from out. So he frottets for a living. And he grew that beard to cover up his tattoos. You see this man, he has a real job, he has a life, something that SGV News does not have. Now what Jose and his band of misfit friends do all day is they stand on the sidewalk. Yep, they just stand out there all day long until somebody asks them what they're doing and then they say nothing. They are trying to provoke and harass people into an argument. And most of the time, they are successful. And then they upload it to YouTube, where people watch clicks and views, and they make money. He's being an asshole. The best thing to do with this drag of society and his misfit band of idiots is to just ignore them. But I know that's easier said than done, because they just stand there and they won't go away until you say something. Yeah, that would be very difficult indeed. But that's their claim to fame. Because if they just stood on the sidewalk and there was no interaction and nothing happened and everything went smoothly, who would want to watch the videos? So they have to create some controversy. They have to make someone react. And this man is solid gold for them. A little longer than a few minutes later. Anybody there taking pictures, sir? Every once in a while, it is rather gratifying to see this crow magnon man in handcuffs. In this particular picture, he was handcuffed because he had a taser which looked like a real firearm, and he refused to cooperate with police when they wanted to inspect it. Notice his little body cam on there. Oh, and his little, well, I guess we're going to call it a man purse. It kind of looks like Glenn's man purse. You know, Ass Elmo wears one of those, too. Let's take a quick look at those pictures, because that seems to be the trend lately for these frauditors. Uh, we'll call them Ass Elmo Packs. I'm not sure about the name Ass Elmo Pack, though. We could name it the Glenda Carryall. But here's Glenn. The, uh, how about, how about the Glenda he's belly bag? He's weight since this picture. Now here's my good buddy Ass Elmo. Doesn't he wear it well with that red Kool-Aid outfit? He's the oh yeah. Man. Oh, I'm or sorry. You could call him Elmo from Sesame Street. That's where we get his name, Ass Elmo. Dude, this guy is just. Just walk up on my head. 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 Walk up on my head.
on Go the ahead. You walk up no, me. Why are you here taking Why are you picture? touching my... All these fools have something about their camera. They don't want you to touch their camera because they come an instant cry, baby. Oh, don't you touch my camera. Don't you touch it. I'll send you to jail. Yeah. This used to be one of SGV's proteges right here. Sidewalk boy. Oh, you mean cry, baby boy? Look how round his face is. Boy, he's packed on a lot of weight. Frontity must be very good to you, huh? Mama cooking good for you. Oh, my son, he makes a lot of money. He works for Wells Fargo Bank. Yeah, your mom thinks you have a banking job. You're a frauditor, all you guys. Even this little sweet thing, all frauditors. Why are you, why are you touching my... Why are you times? touching my... pictures here? Why you won't answer? What are you going to do? Back off. What are you going to do? Back off. Back off. Touch me. Oh, it's you. Get out of here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get out of here, man. We asked you nicely already. What are you here taking pictures for? Why don't you why you want to answer us? Huh? Because he's an you asshole. Got my back? You guys got my back right here? Oh, yeah. Hey, they're with us, brother. Yeah, they got my back. They got my back. They got your back. Yeah, they got your back, all right. But I remember one time your buddy KC Camera Boy was out with his good buddy Sidewalk Boy. Hey, Sidewalk Boy didn't do a thing while he got pummeled. Hey, you want to see that clip? Let's roll it. Roll it. Oh, this one. This one was awesome. And he is gone. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Frauditors don't care about each other, they only care about themselves because they're narcissistic sociopaths. So nobody has your back, Jose. But please, carry on. They got my back. They ain't with you. They ain't with you either. Now, I've asked yeah, you several are. times, man. Ask me nice thing. They're with what us. Is... Call We're the all cop. together. Call the cop. Go ahead. Throw your ass in jail for pushing me. I didn't touch you. And you just threatened me with a weapon. I did not. You threatened me too. So did I pull it out? Did I point it at you? Did I point it at you? Did I point it at you? You little. You little. Put it down and, and touch me then, since I'm a, such a... Come put on. that shit down and touch You're me. You're the one that wants to touch no, me. No, put it, put it down, you and I'll put his hands on you. Oh, how we would all love to see this man put hands on Jose. How many people out there want to see that? I know I do. Yeah. This picture was taken when he was arrested at a library not that long ago, which I find rather ironic, considering that Oaf can't read and he gets arrested in a library. I find irony in that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, quite, I do. quite ironic. Poor boy. I wonder if he ever graduated from anything. Maybe the sixth grade, like Jethro Bodine? He done graduated the sixth grade, and he can cipher. You put it down. Yeah, I didn't think That's so. That's what I thought. I did. I didn't Coward. Think so. Sucking all that shit with a weapon in your hand? What a the fucking put cane. He's using it to down. walk. Put what down? Yeah. That's put what, what down? That's what I thought. Put what down? My camera? Yeah. Go ahead. Put. You got a mouth, but you can't back it up. Shut up. Shut up, coward. Shut You're up. the one hiding behind the gate. I'm hiding behind the gate. All of you are. All five of. I'm throwing too many guys in jail like he's not even funny to talk that. Yeah. Let's see it. 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 What'd you say? What'd you say? It's a good thing that cooler heads are prevailing because old Jose could get squashed into the sidewalk just like the cockroach he is. Look at this. Oh my god, the face that only a mother could love. And when she looks at him, she says, Oh my god, I can't believe I brought it into the world. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, she can't believe it, and neither can we. Yeah, that beard is covering up all his 
gang tattoos on his neck. No, I'd remind everybody, let's take a look at his gang tattoos real quick. Yeah, the best thing to do when you're on the run from the law is grow a beard and cover up those tattoos. Well, he's got some smarts. I didn't say he was smart, but he has some smarts. Big different. He has street smarts. Oh, man, yeah. He's got a tail. He pulls a taser. He drops. He pulls a taser. He drops. Yeah, what are you doing, man? What are you, what are you doing? Mind your own business. What are you doing? That's Mind your own business. You. Mind your own business. You Mind your own business. I'm on the public sidewalk. Get <laughs> out of here. Get out of here, all of you. You'll talk strong, but you ain't going to do nothing. Hey, put the finger down. Put the finger down. Why? What do you got in your pocket? What do you got in your pocket? Obviously, you don't have a job. You little bitch. Jose is a real tough guy, isn't he? Ooh, he has a foul mouth, though. Ooh, my grandmother definitely wouldn't have approved of his mouth. She wouldn't no, have washed it no, out she with lye soap. Of course, that's been a long time ago. I don't know if people still use lye soap, but they should just for a foul mouth like he has. Ooh, I wonder if he kisses his mama with that mouth. You don't kiss your mama with that mouth, do you, Jose? Or your aunties, you don't kiss them, or ain't your sister. Man, ooh, that is a foul mouth. Ooh. Hey, all right, let's continue. You're up. That's it, that's it. Hey, gangsters don't talk. Gangsters don't talk. You little bitch. Get out of here. Get back in the car. Get back in the CRV. Hurry up. Hurry up, get back in the CRV, put your seatbelt on. Hey, you gotta watch the clothes, man. Oh, yeah, that's talk. Get oh, that's talk. That's talk. Coward. Yeah, got your mama. <laughs> Look who's talking, you don't even got one. Hey, Jose, are you talking about this man's mother said he doesn't have one? Everyone has a mother. How do you think we all got here on Earth? Now, in the case of your mother, she doesn't want to be your mother, but she stuck with you because she bore you. She brought you into the world, and you don't respect anyone. Do you respect your mother, Jose? I certainly hope so, because that woman changed your crappy diapers and cleaned up after you and took care of you. You better respect your mother and stop talking about this man's mother. Yeah, because I got some choice words for you. But unfortunately, I can't say him here. Yeah, you don't even got one. Shut up. Little. You think you're putting your hands on? I didn't put my hands on you. You're yeah, I got it all recorded, you little. And I got your flakes. And I got your flakes. I hit you my flakes. What did I do to you? Did I hit you? Yeah, you pushed me. You. You're going to jail. Case. You're going to jail. You what ran up on me. You dropped your backpack, ran all the way out here and pushed me. You're going to jail. Wait okay, for the cops to come. Well, these fraudsters have the same MO. Don't touch me. You'll go to jail. That's where Sidewalk Boy gets it because he used to hang out with Jose all the time when he first started out. And then he hung out with Furry Tomato, whatever you want to call her. Fuzzy Wuzzy. I don't care what you call her, him, whatever. Yeah, oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, you'll go to jail, I'll call the cops. These are all cop haters through and through. And what's ironic is that as soon as they feel slighted by someone, they want to call the police. Well, I'm going to call 991. Right, 911. You can't even get the numbers correct. It's 911, not 991. These stupid people. That's how stupid they are. They can't even dial a phone number. I will. I will, you little coward. Wait until the cops come. You're going to be in handcuffs. I got all the evidence I need, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Walk away, you little. You better be glad he's walking away. He's getting ready that time. Cameron Contraption, says the guy that pulled out a weapon on me. Green and black, checkered shirt, blue jeans, black Nike shoes. 
Jose and his band of misfits don't care if you call the cops. They're cop haters. Until they want to file a complaint against somebody, then they're all for the cops. Ah, uh, they're bootlickers. I guess that's what you would call deep throat bootlickers. Yeah, they do a deep throat on the boot. That means they really love cops a long time when they need them. But then when they don't need them, yeah, they have no need for them. They hate them. No doubt about it. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. Well, the video ends soon, so I'll have to go back and look for part two. Yeah, he's recording with some kind of control. Uh, it's a camera. And it's a camera, you idiot. You hear? You hear? No, it's, uh, it's called a camera. Well, there you have it, folks. And you do, if you ever do find part two, let us know. We'll come on back to you. Till then, Skeptic, are you ready? Think you have somebody who's trying their first hey guys, audit. And welcome to today's YouTube. Let's move it ahead just so we can it's get going. It's pretty busy. It's again, it is in the middle of the afternoon on a Monday. What better time to bother and harass post office employees and customers than when the post office is at its busiest? It says monitor by video, but I do not see any cameras on the outside of the building. Nice little Corvette. All right. So again, like we saw in the other. Okay, it's over there. Authorized vehicles only. That's yeah, which no means not you. No per authorized personnel. So I'm you're going to be an idiot going, yep, he is. Hmm. Venturing into a restricted parking lot that was clearly posted and fenced off sounds like a future criminal trespass warning to me. I thought would just arrest him now and get it over with. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that, dude. No, thank you. I'm sorry, what was that? Is it? Yeah. Under what code? Uh, you're also on private property. Well, why can't I film it, though? Why can't I? Because you're an idiot. Is it? Yes. Have you read your poster seven? Have you? Postmaster? Okay, supervisor works. Karens wouldn't be Karening if they didn't ask for a supervisor. No, they wouldn't be. And just like before, I'm going to ding him every time he mentions Poster 7. Thank because you. nowhere on Poster 7 does it give these poster tards the right to walk around the post office as if they own it. Get that dinger ready. Because I have a feeling we're going to have many, 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 many dings. <sighs> begins. Yeah, you're right. Stay tuned, folks. Our dinging begins. Not allowed to record it, and it's so supervisor, 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 and that senior carrier. Oh, here we go. How's it going? No, uh, what was your name? your name? I'm sorry, what was your name? You're going to talk to me. Because you're on private property. Private property. You need to, yeah, Isn't you this need a post to, office? But you're in a restricted area. Where does it say that? On the fucking signs that you were literally just reading out loud, you illiterate cave dweller. Thank you. What do those signs say? You need to leave, please. What do those signs say? You need to leave, please. I'm just asking you what those signs say. Go ahead and call. It says you need to leave, please. Thank you. Oh. Okay. So what do those signs say, though? It, you know what? You what was your to, name? You need to step off the property. What was your name? You need to if step you're giving off me a directive, you need to tell me who you are. 
I, I don't know who you are. Well, I don't, I don't know, who, know you are. who you are. Exactly. So how can you give me a directive? So you need to step up. Her name is Lord High so. Goddess. Get the fuck off the property. property. Government is property is public property. This is a restricted area. Is it? What sign? The front out there is not. What? Is where? Not what does the sign say? It says authorized vehicles only. Not random dickholes with cameras. I didn't see any restricted area signs. Okay. You need to leave. Am I wrong? You Is there restricted leave. area signs? Go look. I already did look before I came in here. I made sure. Okay. So you what did the signs say? What did the signs say? Sir. What did the signs say? I'm not say? arguing with you. Then have a good day. Yeah, you too. You need to leave. I'm not leaving. We'll see how well that ages when the cops get there. Because when they do get there... I guarantee that he'll either be leaving on his own two feet or with a new pair of shiny bracelets and an armed escort. Please, 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 please let it be the second. I need to have some fun. What'd the police say? When's your postmaster gonna be here? I'd like to speak to the postmaster, please. Have you read your poster seven? Hey, Gam. All right, boys. Cops will be here soon. Hopefully. Did you read your, uh, Coaster okay. 7? Dang! No comment? Get my finger over that button. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside now. So I can dig in See what happens. I've been watching you frauditors for a few months now, so let me guess what's going to happen. You're going to go inside and look for poster 7, find it, and subsequently ignore the parts that say that you can't do what you're doing, not leave after being asked to do so, wait for the cops to come, argue with them with your infinite wisdom of YouTube law, and finally, get your dumbass arrested for failing to leave when ordered to do so, all while racking up an impressive amount of dingers in the process. I'm sorry, what was that? Yes. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. That's not correct. Yes. She's already dealt with it. Have you read your poster seven? Dig. Poster seven, dig. rules and regulations of the post office. Says I can film anywhere. No, it doesn't. It says that you can film in certain areas of the post office with permission. You don't have permission. Therefore, they can ask you to leave if you refuse to shut off your cameras. You have no expectation of privacy in public. Uh, for standing Good up answer. for my First Amendment, right? You aren't standing up for your First Amendment anything. You're a jackass with a camera, and just like the guy said, an asshole. So try putting down that camera and really fighting for the preservation of your rights by maybe joining the military or actually serving your community and drop this YouTube act that you're doing. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Once again, have you read your poster seven? I can show you out there. It says I'm allowed to. I've already talked to the supervisor. And she told you to fuck off. I'm filming. For personal reasons. You can tell this guy's new. Not that it would make any difference, but frauditors are supposed to say that they're filming for some kind of documentary on how to be a dipshit, or they're part of some News Now retard club. Because if you don't say that, then only the last part of that subsection on poster 7 applies. And that part reads, 
Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the postmaster or installation head. Since you don't have the express permission of the postmaster or installation head, you aren't allowed to film there. Man, the police are here. We're in a restricted area. I need some identification from you. Uh, well, I'm sorry, what? You're in a restricted area. You were in How the, is this? You were in the back of the post office. What does, that, what does the post office say? What does it say behind say back there? It doesn't say restricted access. It does. It says authorized vehicles only. It doesn't For mean vehicles. You, it doesn't mean you just wander through there. So I'm gonna yes, it does. It doesn't say unauthorized personnel. Yeah, because it says authorized vehicles only. And you, you are not a fucking vehicle. are not an authorized vehicle. So you do not have permission to be in an area restricted to authorized vehicles. I need some I'm not going to ID. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm you the public. It. Can I get your supervisor, please? What's your name badge number? It's right here. Right here? Is that what you tell the judge? Right here? Yep. Yeah, right here? Get a supervisor, please. Please, supervisor. Three, one, you get a sergeant here. Three, one, can I get a moron out here because I got a moron? You know what? No. Why? Because I haven't done anything wrong. I have not committed a crime. Then why, then why, are, why wouldn't you identify yourself? Because I don't have to. You do? No, I do. Because when people are asking you to have a reasonable, property, alter, uh, reasonable articulate suspicion of a crime, area? what crime did I commit? When Trespassing, you idiot. When the lady asked you to leave the restricted parking lot and you refused, she had the right to call the police and have you criminally trespassed. People are asking you to leave an area that... And a public when, facility. When you, when you don't. And a public facility. Public facility. It's a trespass. Well, for a crime. For what crime? Trespassing, yeah. Of uh, trespassing. For what crime? I just told you. Trespassing, trespassing is not a crime in a public facility. I have to commit a crime in order to get trespassed. Wrong. No, Karen. You don't. If you go into a business and make a scene, then they can have you trespass without you committing an actual crime. But in this situation, you were asked to leave the restricted area and you refused. At that point, they had enough to issue you a trespass warning. And if you violate that warning by continuing to refuse to leave, then they can have you arrested for criminal trespass. You committed a crime. What was the crime? They never. They didn't. Uh, they can't make me leave for not doing they, anything they, wrong. They, what did I do wrong? This is not your property. It's public property. It's, it's everybody's United property. State post office property. Right. Well, which is public property. It's not a governmental agency. Oh, it's not. It's not. No. Oh, okay. Then why does the Homeland, it's the not. Homeland Security deal with this? You don't even have authority here. Wrong again, Karen. He does have authority there. But to be fair. The United States Postal Service is a part of the government, even though it's an independent agency like NASA or the CIA. The cop got that one a bit wrong, but it still doesn't change the fact that the frauditor's about to go to jail. I do, actually. They're supposed to be post office police. I, I, I have a post party. office I police? Have a, I have, they, no. Oh, they that's not a thing? Services. Okay. They have inspector services. So you, this is federal property. You have no jurisdiction? I do, yes, I do. Okay. When, Where's your sergeant at? I can go anywhere when people ask me to come and deal with a problem. Right. Which is what I'm dealing with. Now. But you have no jurisdiction. I do. Okay. He does. He does have jurisdiction. Knock it the you fuck off. business here? Yep. No. What was your business here? Being Tell stupid. Me. That's not business. That, I just bought a stamp. I have a receipt to prove it. Not. You did a not buy a stamp. Oh, you yep. A stamp. So why did you go in the back of the post office? To film. To buy a stamp. Because it's a publicly accessible area. No. It's not. Says who? It says authorized only. It says authorized what? It says authorized vehicles only. Right. That does not mean unauthorized pedestrians. Well, then they should put a sign saying non authorized personnel, trust no trespassing. Again, the sign said authorized vehicles only. You're a defective human, not an authorized vehicle. Yeah. That should be the proper sign. It should not. Have to leave, a public facility? Have to leave. A public facility. Yes. Okay. Yes. When's your sergeant going to be here? I don't know. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Uh, Garanza 53795. Is, right, is that not hard? Right here? No, it's not. Oh, okay. You got a hard time reading it? Nope. Lies! Lies! You are the prince of lies! Thank you. So is this because I have a camera? Just because I'm recording? Because that's a, what they told because me. Because you were in a space where you weren't supposed to be. And what is that space labeled? You're getting into semantics, man. That's not semantics. That's specifics. There's a reason why there's specific signs. That's why probably your facility on your door says no honor authorized personnel. 
not vehicles. And the gates were wide open. If it was secure, it needs to be locked. Oh, oh my god, god, you're such a fucking idiot. The gates were open so that the postal vehicles could go in and out of the postal parking lot. And just because the gate wasn't marked the way you wanted it to doesn't mean that you're an authorized fucking vehicle. The, no, that's not what that means. Oh, okay. You put a you put a fence up around every every balcony that you've ever lived at or in every There is a is an fence, yeah. If you don't want people to come into it, yeah, absolutely. You put a sign up? If you want. No, did you put have you ever put a sign up? I don't answer questions. There you go. Now you're learning. Except you just answered like 50 questions from that officer before your inner dick flute reminded you of those four magical words. I don't answer right questions. Thought. Oh, okay. What was your name, badge number? Sir? What was your name, badge number? Okay, thank you. My name is You're an Idiot. Badge number, You're an Idiot. You're not getting my ID. Well, you're going to be trespassed from here. From public facility for doing what crime? Where? And uh, author, when you're, when you're that's not so physical. It's a open to the public. When you're asked to leave. Open to the public. It's I'm not, not doing anything wrong. Not open to the public. They can only ask me to leave a public facility if I've committed a crime. Filming is not a crime. No, being in the public area is not a crime. I'm not sure what internet site you're getting lost from. Okay. From being an idiot.com. You can tell that the officers had to deal with these jackasses before. And the extremely reliable website that they get all of their legal information from is YouTube. Hey, Sergeant. What's up, Sergeant? Hello. Hey, your name badge number, please? Yeah. What's your name? Herrera. Herrera? Yeah. Okay. So this to be the problem. You're here just freaking people out. Oh, he said I was trespassing. He's in the back. He's in the restricted in the back. Yeah. What does the back say? The back says for authorized vehicles only. Gates are wide open, both yeah. of them. You, you no one's standing the gate. Can't go back. It's a public access area. It's not a public access area. If it was public access, they wouldn't have signed it. The no, so you, can't, so you can't pull your personal vehicle in there and park while you run in and do your mail stuff. That's where the employees park. Does nothing say I'm not allowed to walk back there? Right. Absolutely that nothing. Implied. Well, implied, it needs to have specifically a sign, right? No. No trespassing. Unauthorized pers or well, authorized personnel only. Okay. Let me try to explain it in a way that even a 33-year-old third grader could understand. Good luck. Let's say you ordered a hamburger with mustard only, and they put mustard and pickles on your burger. Would you agree with them if they said the reason for putting pickles on your burger was because mustard only doesn't explicitly imply that pickles should be left off? Exactly. So that sign that reads, authorized vehicles only, does not mean authorized vehicles only and anyone else who wants to walk in. I mean, we really can't go back there either, even when we're, we're, you know, unless... Well, you can. Unless you're not with your squad people. cars, but you can, right? You have kids. That, is, that doesn't you matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, I have three. And okay. it absolutely drives me nuts that I'm trying to have a conversation with my eight-year-old and they keep talking over them. Okay. And I feel like that's the same thing. Oh, well, we'll start over. I apologize. Continue. There's no conversation here. You're screaming. You're not screaming. You're talking over me. I'm trying to get my to tell you what's okay. going on. And, you're asking me a question, and you talk over me. I absolutely drives me nuts. You're right. I apologize. Kids, and, and, you know, I've been doing this job for almost 20 years now. Okay. And it just drives me nuts when they talk over me. And I'm trying to have a civil conversation with you, okay? Bottom line is, we're not going to debate anything here, okay? Bottom line is, you can't go back there, okay? We're not going to debate. But should there be... Should you... Should you please no, don't debate. I'm not debating. Would you agree you, that there should be specific signs? You, there is, since you can't. For all for, should you do you agree that? See, here we go again. Okay. Feel, here I'm, we go. I'm just again. asking you a question. You can't go back there. Bottom line is, okay. I think I can. And that's why they call this. Okay. You're masked up. You're in an area. Masked up during COVID. This there. building says mask required. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Continue. Here I am talking to my kid again. I find it <laughs> funny that the sergeant relates talking to this bridge troll to talking to his eight-year-old child. Okay, you're not a kid. You're an adult. I expect them to. Learn the ways of having a conversation. She's, she's got something to tell you. What was your name first? I don't want to hear any. What was it? Lynette. Okay. And I am trespassing you from our backlog. So you just solicited a trespass? There you go. I asked if she was able to. I, so that, you solicited a trespass? Possibly yes or no. Okay. Can you trespass them? It's a statement of fact. So we're done here, basically. Okay? All right. Have a good day, guys. Okay. You're... you're, you're you're making them, you're creeping them out.
You're creeping people For out. what? Okay. For filming? You're in the, you're in the lot back here, and now you're kind of just making this recording stuff, and I, you're all, by all means, you can. But okay. you're just making people uncomfortable. Well, she told me I was not recording. In this day and age, you're making people uncomfortable. On this day and age? Why they it's actually the safest it's ever been. Okay. I'm, again, I'm not going to debate that. Okay. Three kids. I have well, have a good day, officer. Day. Okay. Are you going to leave? No. Okay. Man, I haven't done me. anything wrong. Like yeah, you're, 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 you're making me yeah. unpleasant. Yeah. Time to go. Time to go. You're Uncomfortable for what? For filming? Time to go. We're just asking you to leave. By now we're being, request, we're being respectful respectfully and, and declining and your being, request. Okay. So why do you, why do you dig this hole that we don't want to do anything? We don't want to take it to jail over something dumb like this. We don't want, you're freaking people out. We are simply asking you, please, sir, leave. That's all we are asking right. you to do in a very polite, not a lawful, way. Even not a lawful order. order. Uh, Karen, he's a police officer, so it is a lawful order, and one that if you disobey, will earn you a free reservation at the county's luxurious Iron Bars Hotel. For committing a crime, what crime have I committed? Then do what you guys have to do, because I'm not leaving. I have committed no crime. I'm here trespass. filming. You, you committed a trespass. There's no trespass. You committed a crime by one of the here when you were supposed to. You committed a crime by staying here. That's place. for vehicles only. That sign is for vehicles only. You've done it twice now. Okay. But what, what are you trying to prove? What, what, what I'm just doing a first, first Amendment protected activity. He's proven that he can be an idiot, Your Honor. You did your spiel and you got your fun video and all the stuff. We're just trying to be respectful for you and... Respect your rights, and we're asking you to leave. That's all we're asking. And I am respectfully declining your request. How do you know that you are still within your first amendment? Because I'm allowed to fill. Have you read their poster seven? How Have you read you know? the post office poster seven? I'm allowed to film here. According okay. to the rules and regulations your, of the post office. Your legal knowledge is outstripping your common sense. Okay. Well, then you guys do what you have to do. I agree. I think we've let this mental midget have enough opportunity to waste everybody else's time. I mean, I can understand where the police officers are coming from. They want to give him an opportunity to leave on his own. But he's not smart enough to do what's best for himself. Is this the part where you're supposed to film us and we're, we're supposed to tap you to the ground? I, like, no, I'm not going to make you guys do anything. Is that, is that, is that what you're trying I'm, to film us trying to get yeah. up sex and all this? This is exactly what, what I wanted to walk away. This What's the problem? Do. I'm not doing anything this wrong. This is the part where the police get in and we get real physical with you. Film it. You throw it on YouTube and that's the exact reaction you're trying to get from us. I what can't you make you, me, and I'm requestfully, respectfully okay. declining your request. What are you doing that? Not telling you. Okay. One of those, one of those people. Yep. Um, so you're going to call your captain, lieutenant, city yeah. lawyer? Okay. So we'll, we'll probably end up doing it. Just let's arrest him. Okay. Finally, they arrested him for doing a dumb on postal property. And guess what? That wasn't the only dumb that he did that day. Really? Because later that day, he returns to the same post office to confront the postal employees about his criminal trespass. Oh, God. Is it against your policy to take pictures on your phone? Right? I 100% guarantee it is. It's 100% against your policy to take pictures. You and another employee did. See how yours says authorized personnel only? Not authorized vehicles? Not one personnel sign. Oh. Go ahead and take pictures. Taser! First Amendment put... Protected activity, ma'am. He's in other words, he's an idiot, man. There, there shouldn't be a problem exactly. See anywhere it says no personnel allowed, no trespassing. Why is it right retail when I got arrested on a public open to the public access? Oh, restricted. Looks like retail. Can't help you can't read. It's not a restricted access point. It does not say authorized personnel, it says authorized vehicles. Newsflash, dickhead! You're not an authorized vehicle! No, he isn't.
Can we arrest him again, please? Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Well, it's better to do a frauditor's version of a walk of shame than to do the police's version of the perpetrator walk. Now, if you thought returning to the post office the same day was dumb, oh, are you leave fucking a comment kidding me? below telling me how fucking stupid you gotta be to return to the post office the next day and have another confrontation with police officers. Oh, fuck. That's exactly what happened. Really? Oh, this is the guy. Okay, I'm going to talk to management every day and handle it. Go ahead. Go ahead. How's it going, officers? Go ahead. Oh, really? We're filming too, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Cool. Why do you guys always say that? You can tell there's a camera. Oh, okay. That's why. Good to know. Wow. Thanks a lot, officer. Now this frauditor is going to tell everybody that he's an expert in forensic police video photography. So are you guys here? I bet you could guess. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I have no idea. Sorry, what was that? We're here because you're Can an idiot. Can you uh, name and badge number, please? Officer Cole. Badge number? 51038. Sir? Right here. Right here? Is that what you tell the judge? You tell the judge right here? To, we're not required to give you a badge number. I just did that out of courtesy. Oh, that's nice. Number. We don't have badge numbers. Okay. So, so you're, you're refusing to identify? Is that it? No, my name's right here. Right here. That's your name? What's your name? I'm not giving it. I'm not giving it? Is that what so you're going to tell the cop? judge your name is at your criminal trespass trial? Don't what was your name, badge you number? Don't. You're not going to identify either? Do you guys policy not to identify as police officers? You're going to look like police officers? Anybody can buy those. No, yes, they can. You can buy all sorts of vests and gears and fake badges and all sorts of stuff. This guy is just one self-contradiction after another. If the police officers' uniforms and badges could be fake, then how would you know that they're real police officers, even if they did identify themselves to you? Good answer. Were you trespassed from here yesterday? Yes. No, I was uh, trespassed from the back lot, specifically. I have it on video. Wrong again. That lady did say she wanted you trespassed from the lot, but you ended up getting trespassed from the entire postal facility. That occurred when the sergeant asked you to leave and you refused to do so. And now that you've returned, these officers have every right to rearrest you for a second criminal trespass. And if you guys like to read this, Poster 7, the rules Fuck off! Dang him! On the post office grounds. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. So pretty much anywhere I can film. Oh, no, no, no. In your first video, you quite clearly state that your recording is for personal use. So skip all the way down to the end of that section where it talks about other photography and how that needs to have the express permission of the post installation baseball. head. You don't have that permission, so get the fuck out. Are you okay? okay, well. Are you a reporter? You don't need press credentials. I'm independent. This is management. I want you to leave or be arrested. Your call. I have a question for you. Have you read your poster seven? Uh, you you want to you want to stay or be arrested? Your call. Can I just ask a question? No, God. No, no. God, please, no. Thank no. you. No. 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 I agree, no. Mr. Corral. So poster seven says I'm allowed to film. Hey, so I don't understand the problem. They, they said you've already been dealing with and uh, intimidating some of their uh, employees. How? I haven't said anything to anybody. Either you leave now, or you get arrested. I don't care. Your call. For what though? What crime? Trespassing. For trespass two. Trespass two? Yep. For how is it a trespass though? Because they asked you to leave and you refused. That's how. Because I'm legally allowed Step to be here. Step outside and talk to me out there. I'm going to arrest you right now. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Have you read the poster seven, by the way? I'm allowed to move. Move now. Now. Move. You don't need to contact me, dude. Well, we're not playing games. We're really busy today, okay? Well, then why are you guys dealing with filming? Sure, same thing yesterday. It's allowed. Yeah. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Were you arrested yesterday? It for says it? on the. You want to go to jail or not? 
Why are you yelling? Yes, he wants to go to jail. What, are you trying to have a conversation with yourself? Because these officers have already had their feel of your bullshit. And having a conversation with someone who's missing several chromosomes doesn't seem to be on their bucket list. What you guys that? More like their you know, bucket list. No, I'm trying to have they a get conversation. Your, they get out of here leave the post office now. Do not come back. you have been trespassed to the post office. I was not trespassed. Your first video is literally titled, Got Arrested, First Amendment Audit Fail. So if you didn't get arrested for trespassing, then please enlighten us as to why you actually got arrested. I wasn't harassing, harassing customers. Staff. I wasn't harassing staff. I was okay. filming. That's why they want me out. out of here. See you later. Goodbye. Don't Real tough, back. guys. Oh, well, I'll be back. I'm sure there'll be a group of people coming back to you. Bring as many frauditors as you'd like. I'm sure they got plenty of room for you and your imaginary friends. But now, for what? In my opinion, is the best part of the video. Don't tell me you did it a fourth time. Watching a frauditor do an actual walk of shame. Oh, that. For what? You guys are. You guys will figure it out. I already talked to the city attorney twice today. Fuck off. Fucking pigs. Piece of shit. You're yeah. doing that while you're walking away. You guys are real fucking tough. Do you kiss your preacher with that mouth, Karen? Okay. I like it. You think he actually goes to a preacher? That's really funny. Uh, but I'll leave you there. And with us, we'll leave part two there. Come on back for the overnight. We'll have the final part of Alien in the Freezer with Art Bell. Until then, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another and release the Kraken as we continually march on here from day one. Have a great evening. We'll see you in the overnight.